Drake Beats. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the vlog. We're gonna get this popping today. So let's get back into taking the uh, studs off the motors and uh, trying to get the uh, intake manifold set up and get that all cleaned up all and uh, try to get some stuff done inside the car. Hopefully we can get this stuff done inside the car. Start getting things done. Start getting the project back in order and get you guys happy with what's going on with the vlog and what's coming later on in you know the future for the channels so for the channel not channels and we have a channel so I'm going to go ahead and pause it here real quick get everything set up and we're going to get this stuff knocked out ladies and gentlemen it is but I don't like it as much as I like the other one so what I might do is go ahead and um, it's still undecided because I still have to use if I can't figure out that wire loom with the OBD with the um, right hand drive well should I say right hand drive wire loom I would have to figure out I might have to use the, the right hand the right hand drive if I can't figure out the left hand. I mean, if I can't, I can't figure out the left hand, I will have to use the right hand. I mean, golly. I would have to use the left hand drive wire loom. Not the right hand drive wire loom. I'm confusing myself. So, I mean, I... I like, like I said, I like the other throttle body better. Um, this one is just too... I don't know it's too much um, I want to do like young static and delete some of this stuff on here like this guy this guy some of the stuff I'm not gonna be using anymore um, to make it look more presentable I might go ahead and I did see this online to where I can delete this right here I might go ahead and delete this because I'm not gonna be using this um, but at the same time I might need it um, I don't know what my other throttle body looks like but I know for a fact that I can use this throttle body on that intake manifold so I don't know that we don't have to change up anything I can use it but I don't know it happens it's not really just like set in stone so I'm gonna start rambling here for right now and come back when I get this figured out. Okay, after figuring, not figuring, after doing a little bit of comparison, comparison to the intake manifolds and throttle bodies and things like that, um, I should be okay to rob stuff off of this one to put on this one. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, um, I am looking this guy right here, if you can see it, is this guy. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it looks like. But I could be wrong. I have to get more in depth. But, and this guy is. Oh uh, crap, I don't lost it now. This guy was somewhere. Oh, this guy is the one that goes to. This is this guy. This guy is this guy. <laughs> That's from what I'm gathering. And then this guy, this guy right here, this guy is this guy right here. So I kind of got it figured out. Um, and this guy goes this, this guy. And this guy, this guy right here is this guy right there. 
so like I said, I kind of got it, kind of figured out, got it figured out. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna use this throttle body. Uh, not throttle body, but this intake manifold. Hopefully you can see this intake manifold. I'm telling you about it, but hopefully you can see it. But uh, you know, I'm gonna use that one right there. And like I said, I pretty much figured out everything from looking at this one. Um, it looks pretty simple, self-explanatory. I will just be taking the throttle body off of this one instead of robbing it off of this one. Save that one for my GSR and keep that way it's set up. And um, go back and go ahead and put my deletes on this this block. I mean this up uh, this block. Put my deletes on this one and leave this one alone and just save it for when I get my other car running and hopefully it works the way I want um, and get it cleaned out and everything on this one. I smell gas. Gas is like really rich on this this whole setup right here. Um, I did see some um, I did see some uh, some gas and stuff in this one um, and oil on this one. Um, it was just draining everywhere. I don't know if you can see it, but there's oil everywhere. It's draining all on the back. It was draining there, right there. That was the main. That was the main spot that was rain, uh, that was draining. Um, so I'll be robbing. Like I said, I will be robbing stuff off of. Excuse me, off of this motor. This motor right here. I still need to find out if this guy is compatible. Compatible with this guy. But at the same time, I might leave well enough alone. And just take my gaskets off, take the gasket off and redo the gasket, buy a, I guess, a AutoZone gasket because I will not be using this gasket, um, unfortunately. Um, I think that was my big issue because it wasn't, it didn't hold that seal. And go ahead and get things set up now and, you know, figure out what color I'm going to paint it and all that good stuff and figure out what is going to be what. I did figure out pretty much everything I need to figure out from looking at this one, kind of getting an idea of this one. So everything's gonna work out just fine. So I'm not gonna stress over it. So this is gonna be, I'm not gonna say the end of this video. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and continue this video, but at a later time, um, I'm gonna be taking some more stuff off the motors. So um, I'm just gonna, not, not even gonna say I'm gonna, continue I'm just gonna pause it come back finish it and we're gonna get this done so with that being said I'm gonna take the studs off right here take the studs off and put them up get everything ready and once I continue this video we should be taking this off and getting that ready and putting um, getting this take taking the clutch and the pressure plate off of that one and the throw out bearing off of that one and put it up, put everything up and then I will find my other one that I had that was on there before because there was nothing wrong with it and put it on there and put the lightweight flywheel up. But we will see that once I get everything taken care of and how I wanna get everything taken care of on a refinish of this video I'm gonna say refinish because I'm not finished with this so it's gonna be refinished this video of me taking stuff off of the motors and then hopefully my next video hopefully my next video will be me doing more with the car and getting things set up so you guys with enough of me rambling I'm gonna go ahead and end this video cut this video here cut this video I'm not gonna end it so hey 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 I just received something in the mail um, unfortunately, don't know where it's from. I can't read it. Um, all it has is my name and stuff on it and stuff like that and tracking number from the post office. So let's open this package right now while we can.
They taped it up good. I remember talking to Steve at HM Motors. H Motors, I'm sorry, it's H Motors. Talking to Steve to, at H Motors about some stuff I was supposed to be getting and I didn't get. And he made sure that I got taken care of. Oh, I just dug my pan back in here. There's some more stickers. Um, uh, so he said he's going to be sending me some, but I didn't know when I was going to get them. He just said he's going to send them to me. So. I just want to say thank you, Steve, from uh, HMotorsOnline.com. Uh, he sent me stickers. I got a whole bunch of stickers. Maybe I can, you know, give some away. We'll see how that goes. I am cutting this video. This is my second part of the removal of the studs. I'm talking about removal of the studs and what I did on talking about the intake manifolds on both of them and what I, my plans are on those. I um, haven't went too far in detail on the plans with those, but just gave you a little bit of, of insight of what I was gonna do. My next video, hopefully, uh, to get me caught up. This is what I'm saying, I'm gonna get me caught up. I shall be taking my transmission off the other motor, but before I do that, I want to buy me another engine stand. So that is what's holding me up, you know, is trying to get to get me under engine stand with the way I work as like interferes with what I'm trying to do. So, like I said, with that, you know, and then after the take that in that to after after I take the transmission off and get that done, then hopefully we can get back on track with the car getting everything done in there, getting everything set up and go from there. And um all the things I have planned so I can get that back and have it running ready to rock and roll once the motor is ready to put back in after I buy all the parts, the belts and all that good stuff because I'm redoing belts and um, stuff like that. I had some belts but I'm going with better belts so these belts are just taking a little longer. So I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment share follow me on facebook instagram instagram twitter tumblr um if you haven't already hit that notification bell so you'll be notified on me uploading new videos subscribe if it's your first time visiting the channel if you like the content or anything that's that, that you want to see me do in further in the further of uh, further of this build um subscribe and i want to say uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. There's big plans for this channel. Just hopefully you can stick with me and stay tuned and we can get the ball rolling on this whole project. I just found out I might have another project, but I won't spill the beans.